In this video, we're going to be working on example five and example six on one-step equations involving division. I already drew a line to separate the left side from the right side. Number one, what side is the variable on? The variable is on the left side. You see the V over here. What is the problem number? All right, so on this left side, what's keeping V from being alone? Well, there's a seven on the left side, which is keeping it from being alone. What is the original operation? Between the V and the seven is a fraction bar, and a fraction bar means division. So I'm gonna draw, draw a division symbol. What is the inverse or opposite operation? The opposite of division is multiplication. So we're going to multiply both sides by the number that is keeping the variable from being alone. So remember, you're always multiplying by or adding by, subtracting by that number that is keeping the variable from being alone. So we are gonna multiply by seven. On the right side, we're gonna multiply by seven in regular integer form. Over here on the left side, we're gonna multiply by seven and seven's gonna be in the form of a fraction because we're multiplying by a fraction. On the right side, we get 56 for our answer. And then over here on the left side, what happens is that we need to multiply across since it's a fraction. So we multiply the numerators together and get seven V. We multiply the denominators together and get seven. And then seven divided by seven is equal to one. So that becomes one V equals 56. And one V is the same thing as V. So V is equal to 56. Let's try another problem. Example six, what side is the variable on? The variable is on the left side. You see the M over here on the left. What is the problem number? Well, on the left side, the four is what is keeping the M from being alone. What is the original operation? Well, that would be division. And I know it's division because of this fraction bar. What is the inverse or opposite operation of division? Well, the opposite would be multiplication. So we're gonna multiply both sides by the problem number, by the four. And the reason why we're multiplying by the problem number is because the problem number is what we're trying to get rid of so that M can be alone. On the left side, I need to write four as a fraction because we're multiplying it by a fraction. And then I want you to recall that when you're multiplying with fractions, you multiply the numerators together. Four times n is four m. And then you multiply the denominators together. One multiplied by four is four. I bring down the equal sign, and then we need to multiply this negative 13 by four. Four times three is 12, I carry the one. One times four is four plus one is five. So that's going to be a negative 52 because a negative number multiplied by a positive number gives you a negative number. Remember, you don't have to know that yet. We're gonna learn that later in the year, but I don't think it's a bad thing for you to see it now. Now remember, if you have a number over itself, four divided by four, that's going to equal one. So we're going to be left with one M is equal to negative 52. And I would like you to even draw a one through it like this. If you prefer, instead of doing all of this work and going from here to here, I'm fine with you just drawing a one right away through the four divided by four, and then seeing you have m divided by one left and m divided by one is just m. So if you wanna go, go right ahead and put a one through it and go straight from this step down to this step, that's also acceptable. And last, remember that 1m is the same thing as m. So m is equal to negative 52 is our solution.